One question I get all the time is, what are SHSH2 blobs? What are they used for, and do I need them to jailbreak? Well, essentially, blobs let you restore to an unsigned version of iOS. Now, do you need them to jailbreak? Not necessarily, no, but they're a great failsafe to add an extra layer of safety to recover your jailbreak if something goes wrong. Well, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate that. Using my iPhone XS Max, I'm going to restore from iOS 12.4 to an unsigned version of iOS. Now, iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 stopped being signed by Apple in late 2018, but this is how it's still possible to downgrade and jailbreak. Now, we do not advise doing this process, as the iOS 12.4 A12 jailbreak is right around the corner from coming out, so just sit tight and be patient. This video is just for demonstration purposes. Anyway, with the latest version of the Chimera jailbreak installed, we can use the utility to set a nonce, also known as a generator. And with that set, we can disable Find My iPhone and then plug our phone into the computer to do the restore. With our blobs, iOS 12.1.1, Beta 3, and Future Restore downloaded, from here it's as simple as entering a single command to do the restore. So here's an overview of what the process looks like. Again, if you guys want to attempt this, be my guess, but it's not recommended for the average user unless you really know what you're doing. But long story short, before you know it, you'll be back on iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. Now when I go to the home screen, you guys can see the beta prompt, but to verify in the settings app, iOS 12.1.1, that's the build number for beta 3. Anyhow, it's just crazy guys, it's technically possible to downgrade from a publicly signed version of iOS to an unsigned version of iOS and jailbreak. And after the restore, we can put our data back on the device, jailbreak it, and install all of our favorite tweaks once more. Now the cool part about Blobs is it can also be used to upgrade. So once the iOS 12.4 A12 jailbreak is complete, I can upgrade back to iOS 12.4, even if Apple stops signing it. Anyhow, this video is mainly for demonstration purposes, but if you guys want more information on how to save and use blobs, check out some of the videos linked down below. We just recently updated our save blobs tutorial for A12 devices on iOS 12.4. Thank you all so much for watching and for the incredible support. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.